last day of Gamescom. And here we go. Howdy everyone, Mike here from the College of Gamers. And uh, I'm going to be going over the highlights of the last day of Gamescom. Pretty sure it's the last day. I think, I think it's a three-day event. Pretty sure. All right, let's do this. Uh, I was up late last night also doing day two, so still a little tired. If you listen to the last one, I'm doing the same day as that one. So, All right, here we go. Third day. Super excited. I'm going to save my favorite thing for last, so... Let's just, uh, let's just dive into it. Again, it's just going to be the highlights. Uh, again, when Taft gets back, we're going to go more in depth into things, and, uh, that's exciting. So, yeah, here we go. Breaking news. All right. Uh, Bethesda Game Studios has confirmed that, that Fallout 4 will have no level cap. And indeed, even after the main story concludes, you're still going to be able to keep playing and keep leveling up. Uh, that really, at first, that wasn't the case for Fallout New Vegas. When it first came out, I remember playing it, and after the main story ended, you couldn't keep playing. So, this will be, this will be really nice. They, they got that out the way. They don't have to patch it or anything. And, uh, yeah, cause that kind of sucks when you finish the game and you can't keep playing, cause there's stuff you haven't done. Also, they confirmed that players will be able to romance companions. You know, if you're into one of your followers, then, uh, yeah, you have fun with that. That's, that's weird. <laughs> uh, as a reminder, Fallout 4 is to release November 10th of 2015 for Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. So again, November is just going to be a huge month for gaming. They should just release everything in the summer. So everyone has time to play said games. All right. Next up, Battleborn has a release date. Um, I haven't really done much digging around into Battleborn. I didn't really know what it was. So I did some research and it looks like a lot of fun. It's from Gearbox. So it's the same people who made Borderlands and it looks like that same quirky fun. Um, you know, the audio is really funny, lovable characters. And it takes place near, you know, at the end of the universe. There's only like one star left. Uh, there's like some evil villain who's trying to invade. Um, not exactly sure how the story's going down, but it's definitely a game I'm going to be looking more into because it looks like a lot of fun. Um, let's see. It is, uh, they've confirmed a release date of February 9th, 2016. And just another another note about this game. There are 25 playable characters. And there is a story mode. And there's also like PvP. But it's also, I think there's a co-op. I'm not sure. I think there's a split screen co-op. And there's also online. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, um, they ha it has mechanics usually found in the MOBA games. And, um, yeah, it's a co-op shooter essentially. Uh, Battleborn will be released on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. So, no exclusives. That's nice, cause this game looks like a lot of fun. And Gearbox seems to be, uh, seems to be making some good stuff. Pretty happy with, uh, you know, they all, you know, I was pretty happy with all the, uh, uh, I just, I just said it. What, what, what game am I talking about? Um, shite. Ah, what, what, what game am I talking about? Borderlands. Jeez. Borderlands. That's what I meant to say. They did a good job with Borderlands, and it that, it seems to be that had that same that same atmosphere, of, you know, funny. All right, last but not least, they announced the world World of Warcraft expansion. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, it looks awesome. It is called Legion, and it's it's linked to the our current expansion, Warlords of Draenor, and it looks amazing. Uh, there are new class weapons, uh, the level cap will be 110 now, and the expansion is taking place on the Broken Isles, which is home to this, to the Pillars of Creation, which were used by the Titans to create the world of Azeroth when it was young. 
Uh, they they showed off a new class that I'm super excited for. They're going back to the hero class. It's called a Demon Hunter. And the Demon Hunter uses demonic forces in order to d- destroy other demons, essentially. Uh, they look pretty cool. They all have horns, tattoos. They all have a, a reoccurring theme of uh, something covering their eyes. And they're going back to a hero class, which means these... Um, th- this class will start out at a higher level, which should be really, really cool. I'm so hyped for this because these guys look pretty darn awesome. The uh, the Demon Hunters will start out in the Vault of Wardens. What's really interesting about the new class is that the Demon Hunters, instead of the standard three three talent trees, the Demon Hunter actually only has two. The Havoc, which is a uh, damage spec, and Vengeance, which is a tanking spec. And Demon Hunters rely heavily on Metamorphosis to, like, they change into, like, demon forms in order to do their their, their said role of, you know, damage or tanking. And they look pretty sweet. Uh, Right now, the only character models they're showing off are um, Night Elves or Blood Elves. But I'm wondering if not, like, if not all races are going to be able to do these. Another aspect coming to Legions will be Artifact Weapons. And they they showed off Ashbringer and Doomhammer as two examples of these. And what you're going to be able to do, you, you, you put Artifact Runes in these blades and it customizes them on their abilities and what they look like. And they look pretty cool. They're special weapons. And again, they don't look, you know, as when you put more runes into them, they'll change what they look like. And you can, uh, get these, um, weapons through unique quest lines. All right. Dungeons and raids. Blizzard promised a greater emphasis on dungeons in this expansion instead of raids. They showed off a lot of new raids coming, including Halls of Valor. Um, let's see. Natharian's Lair, Violet Holds. A lot of, uh, I don't, I don't know how many they actually showed off, but they, there's a long list of dungeons coming up. And they did, um, they did show two, two raids, the Emerald Nightmare and Sumar Palace. In Sumar Palace, you'll be able to face off against Gul'dan. So that's why I'm thinking this expansion heavily ties in to our current one. Another thing they introduced is class order halls, which will only be accessible to players of a certain class. So only shamans will be able to go into the shaman one. Only hunters will be able to go into the hunter one. And, uh, they're usually these, um, these, it looks like these class halls are going to be located in places of significance, such as, uh, shaman players have one, um, overlooking the maelstrom. Paladins have a, um, a sanctuary, but, um, under Light's Hope Chapel and the warlocks and the Warlock class hall will be overlooking the Legion homeworlds. So these are going to be pretty exciting. And you go, you go to these class, class halls to, uh, customize your artifact weapon and to, um, attend to your followers. Now, this expansion, like I said earlier, is going to be taking place in the Broken Isles. And there's about seven different zones within this uh continent and i believe it will be added to it's a new continent in world of warcraft so i'm assuming it's going to be added to azeroth rather than a new world so that should be pretty cool i wonder where they're going to add it because pandaria took up the southern part of the map so i don't know how much room they have left all right um they have a new honor system this looks pretty cool um, this system de-emphasizes item level in PvP and instead has some sort of leveling system within PvP that will give you PvP abilities that you can only have in a, in a battleground or arena. Like I said, it's a leveling system and once you complete the leveling system, you can go into prestige, which will reward players with cosmetic weapons enhancements. Uh, they showed off some cool weapons. So that's pretty exciting. 
And I can't wait to go over all of this with Taft when he gets back. Because we're going we're gonna to have some fun conversation about everything that's happened. Uh, that's really it. I couldn't find anything else. Uh, news on what happens on what happened on the last day at Gamescom seems to be sparse so far. So far, uh, I think it was I think it was mostly Blizzard um, that had a conference today. I think other than that, nothing too big happens. All right, I think that's it. Um, again, that was just kind of the highlights that I saw and thought you know those look, those look fun, those look important. And I'm a big World of Warcraft fan, so um. I was excited to cover a Warcraft World of Warcraft Legion. All right. Um thank you for joining me for the Gamescom coverage and I'm excited to talk more with it when Taft gets back. So join us for that. Again, um you can uh, send me feedback on Twitter or in the comments. My Twitter is bluecows b l u e c o w z and uh have a good one. And uh thank you for listening. Later. Blue Cow Radio.